Hello, meows. It's me, you. I finally decided on my fandom name, Meow. I have posted on the YouTube community, and if you guys check that out already, you might, you guys might know, but. It's been so long since I asked you guys which fandom name you guys want to um, be called but I have decided on Meow and that's because it matches my Instagram ID and I thought that it's just cute in general So thank you Meows Anyways, today I will be doing Q&A session What is my name and age? My name is Miu, I'm currently 17 years old I was born in 2006, February 9th. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. My nationality is Japanese, but my ethnicity, I am actually mixed half of Japanese and Korean. And I currently live in Korea, but I will probably go back to Japan soon. So please look forward for more Japan content. Why did you start YouTube? I started YouTube because of my mom and it's because she recommended me to film and just do to record my memories so yeah and I thought it was a great idea to just record my memories in general and also I had interest since I was young so yeah I started YouTube do you have a pet I do. My pet's name, my dog's name is Princess and today is actually her birthday so I'm going to celebrate her later. But yeah, she is the most precious thing in the world. What languages do you speak? I speak Japanese, Korean, English, and Chinese. I mean, I am learning Chinese. I have been learning for three years now in school but Mm. <laughs> I don't think I'm good at it at all I because I only know some basic stuff that I learned in school so yeah but I'm looking forward to improve in future because I really love the language of Chinese and I really want to improve on it what is your editing software my editing software is uh, Final Cut Pro X and I used to use Velo in iPad I was using the premium version and yeah Velo really is a good app to start editing and it is very easy to use as well so if you are the beginner editor or beginner youtuber it might be a good idea to start from Velo Hobbies I actually do not have like a hobby that I can say that it's a hobby. I don't know. I feel like I am not so sure about it, but I like to sing, dance, um, play games, and listen to music, and just sleep. Your favorite K-pop group or idol? Um, my favorite group is 86 because I used to stand 86 and I love 101 um, but I am not into I am not like stan stan kpop stan stan right now but I used to stand 86 so much I love Daffy and um, I also am currently into Waste Planet Matthew, Sock Matthew, my oh my fave. I'm gonna go watch Matthew's ad today. Anyways, um, so if that group debut, then I probably will go after them. If Matthew debuts, yeah. Where would you like to travel? I want to travel to Paris so bad. I really want to go so many places. I really want to go to like Thailand, Taiwan. I really have so much places that I really want to visit, but I've been wanting to go to Paris since like, so yeah, Paris. I really want to go to Paris. Why do you attend to an international school? 
I was raised with English education since I was young, so my mom really sent me to like many places to learn English and also um, I used to live in Hawaii for three years, so it was kind of natural for me to just go into international school and continue studying in English because I am more comfortable studying in English than other languages, so yeah. Do you have siblings? Yes, I do have siblings and I have an older brother who is 13 years older than me. He already has his own family and stuff, so yeah, I really don't talk to him anymore, but <laughs> um, I do have a sibling. What is your goal for 2023? Well, my goal for 2023 is to be more independent and to work on to prioritize myself more than other people well this is because i used to live a life where i prioritize everything other than me and so i really didn't have time to appreciate myself and um that just didn't help at all for my mental health as well so i think just becoming independent and loving myself more and yeah that's the thing i really have to work on and that's my goal for 2023 next question is do you get mentally unstable because i often do well yes i do um and i am a person who actually always are in mentally unstable condition and this is not my right to tell you what is right or wrong, but but one thing that helped me personally was to just rest. And taking rest from the reality was just something that I really need to do. And I think like taking the rest, I don't mean by like going on to like Instagram or TikTok and stuff, but for me it was just to shut down everything just like listen to music and sleep or just having my time alone also if you are like a, if you are an overthinker like me it doesn't really help just to stay quiet and thinking about stuff so think of something that can distract you from realities like for me it was boys planet like having hobbies or like having something other than like academics or jobs or whatever you're struggling in having more joy from other things or like gaining joy it will help you to motivate and other stuff too so i think that's how i personally try my best to work things out but mm, this is just my personal opinion and i know that everyone have every different solutions for themselves so try to achieve your own one and if you're having a hard time i'm always here for you so don't forget that how to improve in language um as a multilingual i think to improve on language it is most important to just having communications with the native peoples because that helped me and since i am in korea right now i used to not know anything in korean until three years ago when i first came to korea i only knew 안녕하세요 or like 감사합니다 in korean when i first came and i was so lost but i found like a korean friend and just talking to them helped me a lot and now i am most fluently in korean so yeah study tips well, I really don't have much to say about studying because I'm not a study person. I really am not good at studying and <laughs> I don't think I can motivate any of you with a genre of study. But what I personally do is to plan out first, make a to-do list and do that. What's your favorite song? everyone i am a music person i love in music and my favorite song is everything in my spotify list my favorites 
Spotify list, so please go check it out in the description box. If you guys love the music there, then I love you guys. People with same music taste are just amazing. What is your favorite color? Obviously, guys, look at me. Pink. <laughs> My favorite color is pink. I love pink. I love pink so much. How to console a friend who's going through depression? Well, I went through depression. I mean, I'm going through depression right now as well. And what helped me was a friend who told me that they will always be there or they will always be on my side when I need their help. So just if you really you really care about that friend tell them that you'll always be there and you will always be on their side so that they will feel relieved and even though if they don't talk to you about it it's fine because they might need some time by themselves and just telling them that you are always open up if they want to talk about it so yeah which job do you want to do or what's your major well i am so i am not so sure yet about this i really don't have any idea but right now well since i was little i loved music performing in front of people and also just like doing youtube like this like so media related things I really don't have an idea but I just really want to do something that I can just love what I am doing so what is your comfort food? my comfort food is maratan if you watch my youtube then you know it maratan my love What's your favorite anime? Well, my favorite anime... <gasps> Speaking of anime, have you all watched AOT final season part 3? First part 3, that one hour episode? I love AOT. Attack on Titan. Um, like there is like a lot of animes and mangas that i read and where i love the stories and stuff but including like animations voice actors like music and everything i just feel like attack on titan is the best anime that could exist ever like everything about attack on titan in anime it's just so perfect like if you're talking about manga or if you're only talking about story there's like there can be more interesting or fun um animes or manga but just like including everything i feel like aot is just on top of anime world <laughs> and personally i like magi so if you guys want to check out that what is your favorite game i love animal crossing and splatoon what is your mbti my mbti is i slash enfp um i used to be i at the very first beginning and i become e and i think i'm starting to become i again because i felt like Recently, I feel insecure and I feel more introverted and I feel more like shy to talking to people, so yeah. And that was the end of Q&A session today. Thank you for watching and hope you have a great day.